Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. Where do I start? Lots and lots of comments from, from really the last couple of episodes. So, one suggestion I have for you is, after you've watched it, if you're, well, if you're watching it on a PC, and, you know, you open up a tab to, to watch it in, maybe set that tab aside for a while. And after several hours or even half a day, go back to it and look at the comment section. Just hit the, uh, oh, there's a, there's a way to refresh the uh, the comments choosing either top comments or recent comments and watch to see how the comments have grown and how everyone's interacting with each other um later on as we get even more characters in here i mean we get some of our veterans in here from uh, uh alpha 13 that series what i call my, my veterans uh michael and eric and, and klaus and actually rabbit was there too but he wasn't there a lot for the for the uh, for the series he started and then i didn't hear from him again so he must have had other things to to be working on at that time but anyway they'll they'll get in character and and role play what happened that episode and it gets quite funny to sit back and watch all that but um yeah lots of of comments i'll go through a bunch of them here let me turn this on and see what's going on um figured out oh, there, there goes shantigo again yep there's now there was one that handy let's see how did that work here social uh needs had to rebuff Tomislaw, but she didn't. She. Okay, I don't like. Tried to. Oh, doesn't like Tomislav. Is that what's going on? Oh, interesting. Look at all these negatives. So every time they woo her and she has to reject them, then it drops their relationship. They like her a whole bunch. She doesn't like them anymore because they won't leave her alone. Only Rabbit has not. Either has not uh, bothered her, uh, Rabbit, where are you? Or she doesn't mind. Interesting. Let's see. Social. Uh, slighted Tomislav. <laughs> Had a deep talk with Handy. So she and Rabbit are getting along pretty good. But she's kind of had it with the other guys. Enough is enough. Interesting how that's working out. Anyway. Um... Turn that back on again. Shantigo is making some some uh, meals here. Some he's going to eat it right now, isn't he? Yeah, made his own breakfast there. Mm -hmm. So we got to get our meals squared away this episode. A lot of things we got to get squared away. Um, I noticed with ham. Let's let's work on that right now. A lot. I have a lot to say, and most likely because we're already missing what's happening between Klaus and Farmer. So I'm going to miss a lot of what's going on if I keep the game running. So I'm just going to pause it for a little bit. But Ham followed Rabbit into battle. I didn't realize until I went back to re-edit or to edit the episode last time that animals, there we are, that Ham has now bonded with Rabbit. You can take this and choose whom you want to, but there is a relationship now between Rabbit and Ham, the Labrador. And normally there's a little message that pops up here. Ham has bonded with Rabbit, as well as Ham has nuzzled Rabbit. And I think that happened too, but I never saw either message. If you guys saw those messages, let me know. If not, then I'll know I can't trust the game to remind me of that stuff, and I have to figure it out on my own. So he's now going to follow Rabbit anywhere and everywhere, unless we turn off Follow Master While Master is Drafted. And we also have Follow Master while Master is doing field work, hunting and taming animals. I think that will be fine. Although there is a problem with that. If he tries to tame an animal that doesn't want to be tamed and revolts against him, then Ham could be injured there too. But Ham could also possibly protect him. I'm not sure how that works. There is the uh, release, the rescue. So release right here uh, doesn't give you that description here. Anyway, we're going to uncheck this one. Uh, right there so that ham will no longer follow rabbit i don't have the choice to do this until he bonds with somebody so i can't preset sienna to keep her from going off to be whoever she's with because it's not an option yet but ham and training release that's what i was looking for the animal can be released to attack distant targets instead of just defending their master so in that sense i get this uh, i get the sense that they will defend their master okay so 
following Rabbit around, doing things. If he gets in trouble, they'll both be able to, to fight off whatever that trouble is. So that's good. But we don't need him in the line of fire. So that takes care of that one. And it was asked if pets can be renamed. I don't think so, but I haven't actually looked. There's no character tab, which is where we'll find it with a, with a person. Character, that one right there, rename. Go to animals. I don't get the sense. Clicking on takes me to them. And unless you see something here that I don't, we could slaughter them, which we, would you, you could do with pets. You know, a turkey suddenly becomes self-tamed and becomes one of your colony, basically. You can take care of that turkey or you can have it for, for supper just by clicking on that if you choose to. Um, I guess that's the symbol when I do this. No. Obedience. Animal can be assigned to a master who it will follow and defend. Okay, so it's obedient to the point that it's willing to bond to somebody. I guess that's that different symbol compared to Sienna. Uh, the animal can be assigned a master. So let's look at Sienna this way. Uh, where is she? She's right here. So training. So she is... No, zero of one. She has not been uh, trained with a, for obedience yet. So she, uh, you have to go through this step first before you can start working on any of the other ones. And these are easy. There's only two steps in each of them. It's hauling that is the most difficult one, but that's the one that's the most beneficial. Um, let's have him also trained for rescue. If we're in battle, somebody gets hurt, and nobody can get over there to haul them out of, of harm's way, maybe Ham can get in there and get them and bring them out. Though I wouldn't ask him to do that until we've got puppies. But uh, that's, that's a possible long-term plan for him. So that takes two things out of the 40 on my list. Um, let's let this run for a little bit. Klaus is talking to Farmer right now. And social acquaintance Klaus plus 12. So we just got a little bit of a boost. Uh, listen to Klaus build rapport. Listen to Klaus uh, to a rec recruitment pitch from Klaus. Farmer rejected the offer. So... There was something here that said she will continue to reject until a certain level of... I'm not sure what it was. What was that? No longer capable of walking. At the same time that Shantigo started cooking, I heard all that sizzling noise. Like, what is that? So Amelia's getting better. She's capable of walking, but she's still pretty much out of it, isn't she? Yeah. She's, she's hurt. We hurt her pretty bad trying to trying to subdue her I, you know thankfully it didn't kill her but uh, otherwise nothing else we could have done she was insistent on attacking us and we we were defending ourselves hoping not to kill her I wish there was a way Catherine mentioned too bad you don't have a you know the option of a tranquilizer dart just take her down and, and put her in jail but we don't we have to shoot or beat or something until she is unconscious and then we can choose to bring her in and, re and work with her Taylor bench so we need clothing for these two, hopefully before they get recruited. So Advil, want to make shirts for starters. Um, wear a button-down shirt and a t-shirt. We're going into summer. Let's go with the t-shirt for now. Though, click the eye. Uh, in details? There it is. A t-shirt, a simple t-shirt. So it doesn't give me any benefit more than that. I was hoping it would say what's different between this and a button-down shirt. So if I were to add bills and a button-down shirt and hit that I. Mm -hmm. Well, 55 ingredients. There's one thing. Um, work speed governed by tailoring speed of the person doing the work. So t-shirt details. Okay. Details and I. Uh, work Amount of work, where do you see that? 100. So a t-shirt is harder to make than the button-down shirt? I would think the opposite. Okay, well, that'll get us two of them quicker if we do that instead. So, X that one. And let's grab two button-down shirts. All right, 55. Record, oh, 55 ingredients works 137. Well, when you put it in this view, you can see it a lot better, huh? Add bill, t-shirt and details on that one 150 ah okay all right let's go with just this one for now let's do only two at the moment 
then we'll move directly into pants and get those done then we'll go back and start making some extras for for later and bill pants right there let's make two of those and basically we can just kind of just like the meals what do you want to make it out of at this point anything you've got which we don't have much of we're gonna have to do some hunting and we need to start hunting the same animal so we can get a good load of a particular leather you know let's go get a bunch of squirrels or something so that we can get or raccoons or you know raccoon underwear yeah that's what that's what we need to make uh-huh okay so otherwise i don't need to worry about crafting skill let's think about that work crafting i'm pretty sure it's only handy it is and in this case i'm going to take you up to a one there because i got to get this done if you're waiting until your construction is done it's never going to be done give you a hint we will never not be building something so we'll always be you know 200 projects ahead of where we are so i'm going to set her to crafting one till we get this done i uh, still need to finish power and get this hooked up really we're powered to here let me think about that architect power right there we are hooked up why are you oh i probably paused it too soon um space bar Zzz. there it is okay that's it and you're getting this post in nope you're getting this light in and speaking of light Catherine brought that up but can you connect Zzz. Mm, zzz. now you got it there there was a conduit there but it wasn't connected to anything and she's getting all these conduits done she is because we only have nine rat leather and um squirrel that's another thing on my list right there squirrel all right let's get rid of apparel right now where are the leathers raw plant matter items not manufactured okay where are we hiding the leather apparel is what we make from it okay not there How about items well raw resources i would think leather would be a raw resource plant matter i'm just not getting it in there okay put you away and let's look at items body parts artifacts unfinished furniture art not there either okay what am i not seeing we've gone through apparel we're not in apparel weapons items raw manufactured textile are you telling me that skinned squirrel leather after it was butchered is now manufactured i would not have thought that okay textiles are all going to go away and beyond that also in manufactured is medicine drugs and other things and they're still there okay so none of you guys there instead we're going to put you over here now did i get to that i did you i don't think i got a chance to set it though clear all and instead put in all the textiles and take you to nope like wrong button right there and take you to a preferred level so all the specialized ones we're going to go preferred and that still saves two more priorities above that in case yeah we normally want it here but in this special situation we need it over here and we need it fast so or you know that'll be critical or whatever we want to do there but preferred is fine here and that's all done so all the leather is now going to start getting brought over here did i leave that under roof the light now doesn't let me really verify that it's, it's bright like daytime in there yeah that's under roof okay so it won't get rained on won't get harmed all right, so all the stuff that we can make the clothing out of is going to land here. And we still, but we don't have enough to make anything. It took 50 to make a t-shirt, and we have nine. So Handy is still going to be, her number one priority is still going to be construction until that happens. All right, Rabbit has got a rifle out. He's hunting a raccoon. Aha, now it's working. Klaus got his raccoon. No. Yep, he did. So he's got his raccoon. And I want to try switching him away from the the sniper rifle. He and uh, Michael were, were chatting back and forth in, I think it was the last episode's comment section, about uh, joking about how he couldn't shoot something with that, uh, that sniper rifle. So, yeah, 
those are the kind of comments I want uh, the rest of you to start uh, noticing and, and participating in. So someone jumps in and says something funny. Feel free to jump in and say something funny right back to them and get the get the conversation going in the comment section. Um, spending a lot of time paused. I'm still looking at quite a long list here. Who was it that suggested two or three episodes ago to throw in a horseshoe pit? I don't recall who it was, but it's a great idea. So let you guys go ahead and do your thing. Shantigo is trying to make meals. I think we're eating them as fast as as we uh, as he's making them um, although I'm tempted to turn off on these bills drop on floor until we take out all of these rabbits and everything else around here which could be this episode um, I need them to stop eating my food because we don't have enough so, I'm going to have to bother Shantigo to take one extra trip and go drop it off each time. Now, over here, still just three meat. Okay, well, raccoon meat's coming in. And pretty soon we're going to see, in fact, before I even go any further than that and get back to horseshoes, that's two raccoons being hunted. Let's make sure, in fact, I just saw one right there. Raccoon. Double click, we've got four out here. Let's hunt all four of them. Over here... Can I still see any of those four? There's one there, there's one there. If I do this right there, double click here, we've got no more. No more popped into this screen. Okay. Um, speaking of this screen, there is a pistol up here that Klaus left because I couldn't get him to bring it the other direction without drafting him. When you draft them, they drop everything they've got in their hands. Problem with this being here is that we still have several set to want to go and haul things and this is something that they're going to want to haul meaning when i'm not looking they're still going to walk right through the middle of this mess to go and diligently haul this back to the stockpile so let's forbid that thing so they can't do it and here are the deer that i couldn't find last time i knew they were here somewhere they're all packed in real tight right into the space when i was expecting to see them up in here just saw the ibex so we do have a deer herd in here and these guys do tend to rampage when you hunt them especially if your hunting skill is kind of low or the game just knows that you don't have a colony yet that can defend itself then it tends to send whole herds at you and it just kind of ruins early games we're going after little prey right now not much a pack of raccoons can do to you so that is that check those off the list horseshoe pit where to that's really actually well this is going away soon this is going to become more of like a prison or something when these bedrooms are all done which they pretty much are I need to get hauling back up and priority so that we can get these cleaned out hauling right in there who can i have to just do some hauling tomislav is doing what at the moment besides eating no, he's building. He's doing a lot of building for us. He's probably one of the reasons why we have so much of this done. Huh. Um, which gives him a good secondary skill, too, because we don't have any research up and running right now. So I kind of do want to promote him getting his, his construction skill up. Where's construction? Right there. He started as a six, and he's still a six. If I go here in character and construction, he... Is 1,500 out of 7,000. He's still got a long ways to go on getting up to, to 7 because work, um, construction, I don't see a passion in there. That'd be that little flame mark right there. There'd be one right in there. and Actually, right here, and there isn't. So he's going to build up very slowly. So in that case, let's go ahead and have Tomislav do some hauling. And as your first... Yeah, we'll do that as a 1 for now. And... See if we can't get all these guys moved out of here. In fact, I will... Let's let him finish his job here. Great. And we're connected? I think we are. So, you are consuming a simple meal. I'll leave you alone to do that. Are we connected? We are. Okay. Freezer. Temperature. If you can get things down to freezing... You know, it's not super realistic to real life in the sense that you don't want... You want a refrigerator and a freezer. You want to freeze long-term things, and you want to uh, you know, refrigerate what you're going to be cooking with. So they're allowed to instantly take a frozen thing and start sizzling it and cooking it, and it's you know, and is no problem here in this game. So if you were to keep things at 
the freezing level or less, then your amount of decay, how long something will last before it uh, spoils, becomes indefinite. So that's that's the goal to shoot for. It just makes things easier. When we get a heat wave that hits, then we're not going to be able to, to maintain that, at least not in this kitchen. There's there's not enough insulation here it'll, and not enough cooling here to to keep things above freezing. But let's go for freezing right now. Right now we're set at 70 degrees. So let's take you down to, oh, probably down to 20. So let's drop by the bigger increments there. You can see it right there, there's 16. Uh, up a couple of twos. We'll take it down to 20 degrees. So everything that drops in here will slowly lose its temperature until it gets down to 20. So this meat will eventually, it's uh, not refrigerated, spoils in less than a day. So we need to get this meat used soon or we need to get this temperature dropped and if you watch right over here at the temperature right now outside is 68 degrees in there it's 51 46 it's cooling down really fast boy i wish my uh, my freezer at home worked this good 43 and boom you hear that there's gunfire in the distance and you are after a raccoon Now, behind the trees, it's Axe's cover. And that's right, the animals now are a little bit uh, more intelligent AI, where they will flee from you when they're hunted. Before, they would just stand there and let you shoot at them. Uh, where'd you go? You left. Uh, rabbit? Sewing area? <laughs> Let's manually tell you to hunt and try this again. Prioritize hunting. So head over here and let's see if we can't finish the job and take this raccoon out of its misery. But don't hit that boom rat, please. Thank you. All right. We're going to have raccoon skin underwear coming. Yep, we are. And he's getting the, the bench built there. And if you're not actually good, if you're not actually uh, doing this job yet, then let's get some dining uh facilities going over here table and chairs all right have we talked to yes so we're at plus 12 with klaus and we're plus 12 with klaus so he's he's working on them okay so where am i on my list i'm still in horseshoes okay architect joy horseshoes this we could do outside and you don't have to get into a poker table that's new billiards chess table um Horseshoes. I think that's it right now. Plus they get joy. So this is a way to get their joy besides stargazing or taking a nice walk. Or they'll visit a grave eventually, which we need to dig a few of those. We're going to need them soon. Um, but they'll also get joy from working on things that character that have the uh, the double flame there, the burning passion. They'll get a joy gain times two for for those sort of jobs. So whenever you've got them doing what they really enjoy doing, you get a bonus. Rabbit's bringing in his kill. Now, right now, we're just dumping him in the freezer, and I'm sure that Shantigo is watching this in horror right now, that uh, animals, you know, dead animals being dropped in the same uh, same place that cooked meals are being placed, but uh, that's RimWorld. When we get up in here, I'm going to build an animal freezer for bringing them in, and from there there will be a freezer for all of the uh, the vegetables and the meats that have been processed from the, the butchered animals. So, freezer for butchered animals, butcher, desk, or butcher uh, table out here, they'll go in, they'll butcher them, they'll bring them into the, uh, the meat area. Then we'll have a kitchen cook it all, then we'll have a refrigerator for storing the cooked meals, separate from all the rest of them. What was that mark? Minor break for Shantigo. Because needs... Let's see, what do we got here? What do we have here that's repairable? Rebuff by Handy is going to be there every day, isn't it? Fly, uh, feeling bad? Eight without a table we can fix soon. Not a whole lot. Your beauty, that's the problem. This is one ugly place to spend all of your time working. We'll make a nice, pretty kitchen later, but right now, this is killing them. Okay. Comfort's bad. We don't have the chair built yet. Okay. Handy, let's get that chair built. That might save us. And hopefully, I know I'm distracting you from what you wanted to do, but do we have a chair yet that is really good quality? Normal? 
Superior. Uh, let's uninstall. Pause. Let's actually cancel that one. Let's reinstall this one to here. That didn't work. Reinstall to here. Uh, do that again. Hmm. I can't. Okay, I can cancel that. Try one more time. Reinstall, and this time hit E a couple of times. There we go. Low food, mental break. Yeah. And once that gets moved, in fact, who can I have actually do that? Farmer in restraints is wandering around. Okay. So she needs. She doesn't need to rest yet. She can't sleep in this bed anymore. Now that she's not bedridden, I don't think. Health. Yeah, you're. You're back to normal again. So you're going to wander around in your room, and we need to get this one done. Shantigo, relaxing socially. I'm going to leave you alone. Klaus, oh, it must be 1400 1500 So they're all getting their, their orders to go and take a break. Okay. So once that gets done, besides Handy, Rabbit, he is just sitting down and relaxing socially. Yeah. How you doing, anyway? Needs? You're not bad. Good. Rabbit, let's have you break early and get this done. Veritize, working on dining chair blueprint. Is that the same thing as hauling it? Yeah, you went to here. Okay. We get that done, then I can move the superior one. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to get it to over here. <laughs> Cancel. Let's just, never mind. Brain fart. Did it again. Um, you cancel, you, there, E, 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 now, over there. All right, Handy, just drop that and do this for me. And that solved the whole crisis. All right, now you can get to work doing something else. Meaning, furniture, chair, and E, 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 and there. And nothing else has been disturbed. Okay, good, that's all done. Horseshoes. Joy. Horseshoes. Where to put you? I can't put it in here. Do I put it in here? Let's put it right there. And they'll throw it from there. They'll throw it from here. Okay, that's done. So now we got a place to eat. We've got a chair in there. Any time now. There it is. Excellent. All right. Art? Really? That didn't happen to any of the other ones. We've got an, our first art scene that I've noticed. We could have one in some of these, depending on the quality of the uh, of the construction. But we've got art on this chair. Klaus's Green. That's the name of this art on this chair. This furniture is engraved with a portrayal of Klaus capturing Farmer with professional efficiency. Klaus is looking into Farmer's eyes with a sense of dominance. There is a dove in the upper part of the image. <laughs> the work has an amateurish yet attractive feeling and a square structure. This image refers to the capturing of Farmer on 15th of April, May 5500. So that's that's Rimworld. <laughs> Which kind of got it from Dwarf Fortress. That's the first place that I saw something like that. A lot of this will come from games from that game. And that that's an enjoyable game. Anyway, so Thomas Lob is feeding Amelia because he's doctoring, whereas Farmer's only going to be fed now by, by Wardens. Do we have a backup Warden? We don't. We should. Handy, 6 out of 20, and 5 out of 20, and 5 out of 20. We need a backup just in case Klaus is busy and, and Farmer is starving. She will not get to it very often. She's got so many 1s and 2s. Well, that one right there is going to keep her uh, captivated for pretty much the whole game, the whole series. But that one, at least I can click on and send her to do it. Needs, we're not there yet. Okay. All right, so we have a... Shantigo's grabbing... Rice is definitely going bad. How much is here? I'm not seeing a quantity. Is that really just one? It is. So you're going to grab the one. And... Set it on the table with nine other meat to make a total of ten. Maybe. Let's see how this works here. I've still got a whole page full of notes I'm supposed to be working on. 
talking to you guys about, but... Yep, you grab nine of those. So that will make a simple meal. I'm guessing it takes a total of five and five to make a, a fancy meal. Yeah, got a simple meal out of it. Okay. Temperature in here is 22, 23. Okay, that's working. Kibble. There's one kibble. There's one kibble? I thought the kibble would have been moved by now. How come it wasn't? Storage. Preferred. Let's take you up a notch further. Important. Get that in there. And, that's right, I was told by Carrie the hay kibble and, pem and pe pe da -da 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 -da. pemmican do not need to be in here. So we can at least turn off the kibble. Don't know where to store the hay if it's not in here. And it'll rot outside, so we'll send it to here for now until we come up with a better choice. But, uh, yeah, well, so it's not, those are the three, she says, that are not needing to be refrigerated. And now, herbal medicine should be refrigerated. They're up in here right now. They're right there. But they will last two years before they spoil, as long as they're not sitting outside. This damage right here is from sitting outside. So while they need to be refrigerated, they don't absolutely have to. Though, in this case, it would bring it closer to what we're using as a temporary hospital. That might be... Well, Klaus, you did it. We now have a farmer. So, new recruit. Uh, Klaus successfully recruited farmer. A 20% chance. Now, she was listed as 46% chance. So, maybe the chance decreased as they got to know each other. I'm not sure how that worked. I don't remember how that worked. But, jump to location. Alright, farmer needs some clothes. Really does. Um... What we could do, though, is just ask Klaus to be a gentleman and social gear. Let's ask him to drop his shirt and ask. He didn't do it yet. Farmer is attempting to recruit Amelia. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to pause for a while and figure that out. Farmer, whom we need to rename once we take a look at some skills here. Warden, three, because it's her first three, because everything is threes, and none of these qualify, so that's her first duty. Okay, so let's go this route then. So, Amelia, character, really likes growing, and is going to do really well with animals. So in that case, I think I know who this needs to be. Um... In fact, let's do that one right now. That's the right one. Long pause. Concerned. Yeah, there we go. Highlight all of that. This one, let me go back a page to those notes and verify. Yeah. Sangria gets this one. And any of these names that I type in, if I have spelled it wrong, be sure to let me know in the comments that, uh, that I got it wrong. There, I've got a, a uh, spiral notebook and I'll write down all my notes and as I fill that page I'll move to the next one and transfer important things to the next one and after a few generations of that I may misspell a few things but Sangria was supposed to be in our Alpha 13 series and she got in right at the end on the list and then the series came to an end so it didn't get to so I wanted to get her in early on this one and she had requested that she get a character that is interested in animals and I think we're gonna we're gonna make this one work we're gonna make her in charge of animal handling and maybe send her off and go get some animals and bring them back in could do something like that who wants a pet turkey anyway um so sangria welcome to the game and let's figure out who sangria is sangria can shoot but isn't much into that right now let's just go here first she was a minor noble in an old kingdom on a medieval world she grew up in a manor made of stone served by bowing lower classmen such a life teaches no technical skills and instills a lifelong aversion to manual labor but sangria learned early the ways of social manipulation <laughs> Plus four to social, minus one for construction and growing and mining. But as an adult, oh, apparently the tables turned on her. She became a farm oaf. So she became the very ones that basically served her as a child. Aha. Uh -huh. Tilling, hoeing, 
guiding ox carts, pushing wheelbarrows, digging ditches, planting seeds, predicting the harvest. Medieval level farmers aren't educated in the usual sense, but they know a lot about growing plants without technology. That said, such a life leaves one essentially incapable of participating in intellectual, technology-driven activities. So growing plus eight, mining plus three, researching disabled. So, whoa, get back here. So out of all of that, plus whatever she randomly had, had rolled, she got good marks on growing and has a passion for animals, pretty good at social, and can do some medicine, can do, well, it's kind of there on cooking. We will put her also on butcher duty and kibble duty. In fact, that's fitting if she's going to work with animals. And can do some mining, which is good. So not capable of research. Is a teetotaler. So abhors the idea of gaining pleasure from chemicals and avoids alcohol and pleasurable drugs and is trigger happy pew 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 sangria just likes pulling the trigger she shoots faster than others but less accurately so aiming time of negative 50 percent and shooting accuracy of negative 5.0 all right so health in good shape gets real medicine needs doesn't like being naked so if I can get her to pause for a moment, Klaus is going to, uh, if he doesn't also get the negative six, then he's going to uh, be a gentleman here and give her his shirt. Um, I don't think he's going to be too happy about losing his pants, though, so that's just the best we're going to be able to do for her for now. Um, gear has nothing at the moment. Social has a good relationship with with Klaus and is also a friend with Handy. So Handy is somehow cross paths with her at some point. Doesn't know the other three yet. Okay. So that is Sangria. And work schedule. Um, where are you? You're over here right now. Let's... How do we set you? Um, by handling, you are... Why at the bottom? So four, four. So you are the lowest qualified, but you've got a passion for it. Okay. Well, that's going to be your one. Let's set all these to one. No. But you do have some skill. So you're capable. All of these guys are capable of delivering a meal to an injured person. So let's put fours on all those. So I can trigger that manually if I choose to. Uh, you are. You do have some social skill so in that case handy has more no you're both even okay I'll set you both for threes I still want Klaus to do all the work the better the skill the more likely we're going to recruit someone just how fast that uh, Klaus got uh, got sangria to join us uh, cooking four so you're a you're a four on, on your bottom of the level on that one hunting is not going to happen construction capable but not uh, a priority growing quite capable i'd say a two on that one and mining four will do that as well to get her out there she's not going to do a great job at it meaning she's going to take a very long time to do one thing but to do a single square but we're going to get to a point where it's all hands on deck to get the uh, the, the base carved out so everyone's going to need to do some mining at some point um Plant cutting, everybody gets the joy of plant cutting. And smithing, hauling, she can definitely do some hauling. In fact, when there's no growing, okay, I think that works. A lot of these are not going to be all the time. So she will get down to her hauling once in a while. I still want, in fact, we can take you back to a three so that this is uh tomasov's first two yeah that works because she'll be taken over for that and tomasov is actually a one in research and you guys are not so i think that sets all of that sangria all right hang on for a moment while klaus drops that so that you can wear this and that gets me to another topic that i've been wanting to uh to address and never seem to find the time policies this is something that Natalia suggested in the first episode that I that I uh, talk about. She's commenting to me on Facebook, so you won't see her comments under the YouTube 
uh, videos. But basically, we can set policies for different subjects of the game. One of them is clothing. So, Sangria will naturally, as a anything, go and find things to wear that are available. There are no things to wear, so it doesn't do any good. But if we had a storeroom full of clothes, she would go and grab anything there. Let's see, clear forced? We forced her to wear that. Actually, if I clear forced, she didn't, she chose not to drop it. Okay. We forced her to, to wear something. I think there's a negative to that, but she was willing to do it because she's on anything. We can take manage outfits, select anything. There's the list and they'll pick up anything they want. Let's look at a worker. So if somebody is listed as a worker, then they will not pick up an armor vest. They will not pick up basically military things. So, and over here, headgear, got lots of choices in headgear. So they'll do anything but military. Or if we chose a soldier, then they will pick up more of the, you know, the helmet and the, and the, uh, um, where's the vest, armor vest right there. And anyway, by season, you, you can basically set your own, um, outfits. I usually set the shield belt to someone that is going to be melee. And, of course, you want that unchecked for someone that's going to be ranged because you see the last sentence there prevents firing past touch range. So you can't shoot through it, but it, it guards you against being shot. It hits, it's basically a force field that forms around you. So there's certain things that you do and don't want certain characters to wear, and you can go through and individually choose this right here for each person so they'll automatically go and pick up all the different things they need to basically work well with whatever job that they're doing and then we have something similar to that and also let me also add that i'll modify that or even set up a different one for whether it's winter time or summertime a parka will keep you warm in the winter but you don't want to be wearing a parka in the summer so does the duster cool you off uh, blocking the sun and getting and grit from the desert. So the duster's worn in the summertime to cool you down. And park is worn in the wintertime to warm you up. So I might make a, a summer soldier and a winter soldier and a summer, you know, whatever. You know, split, it, you know, split it up that way. So you can also do something with your drug policy. If you want to play a game where drugs are, are a big thing, then you can choose who's going to take drugs socially, who's going to take just for dealing with existing um, um, addictions or you can choose just to let them have a beer once in a while drugs will give them a boost to joy but it has all kinds of other side effects too just like in real life so I would much prefer just provide a, a pool table and a and a, a chess board and, and some horseshoes and get their joy up in that way so I prefer not to play with drugs in my games but there will be times when they'll come in as a prisoner completely ad addicted to drugs and they're going to have all kinds of withdrawal symptoms and which is going to affect their mood. They're going to crash and go crazy more often because their mood's always going to be tanked. And it's 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 a soap opera all in and of itself. But that's basically the drug drug or the uh, the policies of the game. So I can finally take that one off the list. But um, so Sangria will follow her for a minute. I'm going to get back to my list of all the things. There goes Shantigo with Handy again. Well, now Shantigo, you have someone else to go and say hi to. What are you going to do first? You are taking raccoon meat because you're going to go train animals. Oh, interesting. So let's watch what happens here. You're going to grab how much? Is that move there? I, I need a joy source. Yes, I do. Uh, training ham. Okay. And you grabbed gear. Six raccoon meat to go and do that with. Okay. Do, how much raccoon fur do we have? That's rat, and that is raccoon leather 28. So we still need more raccoons in order to get some clothing made. Klaus, did you ever... Where are your needs? You don't have anything that says you're naked. Okay. So we can deal with this. You're going shirtless. You have a jacket. You don't seem to be having a problem with that. Good. That was a good choice. Okay, so we're working over here, and Klaus is talking with Amelia. Shantigo is mining because he doesn't have any more meat. 
we need to get some of this uh, rice to pop. And strawberries, I notice, are starting to, to get pretty close to harvest, too. Ham has gotten food poisoning from raccoon meat. Ah, she gave him raw raccoon meat to train him. And he, uh, he got food poisoning from it. Okay. Um, where is ham right now? Right there. Do we needs... We don't get any sense other than food poisoning. Uh, consciousness, 50% uh, less. Interesting. So poor consciousness, moving and manipulation. So you're basically out of it for a while. Okay. Unhappy nudity is sangria. So she's still there because she doesn't have pants on. Okay. So it really didn't help her much, did it? Uh, needs. Uh, there we go. Sangria. Still negative six. So it looks better to me, but it's not looking, it's not feeling all that great to her still. I see. Okay. Turn that back on. Uh, there we go. 40% chance, zero of two on your release. Or what was the one? The training. It was rescue. So she was trying to work on rescue and didn't get it. But she's going to skill up every time she tries. And that's good. And we can go out here eventually and choose animals that we want her to go and try to tame and bring in. We could have her try to tame this, not hunt, this llama or, or alpaca over here. Alpacas may attack upon a failed taming attempt. All right, we won't do that just yet. We'll let her get her skill up a little bit. So alpacas will get angry if you tame them wrong, huh? Boy, fussy things. Um... Well, I'll do this until the next event hits, and I'll hit pause. But I've got a lot to get to on my list here. Horseshoes. Um, Handy, where are you? You are building a table. Pause. Let's have you put this in so that we can get this one accomplished. Let's work on this one first. Okay. So that one I can take off my list now. What else is on the list? Got the cloth moved. Okay. We need to get rid of all the, the rabbits around here. Um, I want to get Klaus set up with a better rifle. Klaus, where are you right now? Are you out hunting? You're over here. And you... Boom. Alright, you're taking out a raccoon rabbit. Klaus is resting. Well, good. While you're resting, come on over here and swap out for this... We don't have this anymore. What's the range on the revolver? Night Ghost was was real excited that his character got a revolver on his. Why is that? Are they that good? Accuracy is pretty good here, 91%. And short range. Uh, short range is what? Total range is 26. That would be long range, which is not very good. So up close, which you really don't want to be hunting in case it changes its mind and goes after you. Um, 11 damage. The pistol is 9. Okay. Hmm. I want a an assault rifle for him. Who's got the assault rifle? Rabbit's got one. And Chantigo, you've got a charge. Tomislav has a charge. So Handy must have it. Handy, you're up here somewhere. You were working here. Did you get that done? No. So you went for wood. All right, let's do it this way. Andy, where are you at? You went all the way over there for wood. We're running out of wood. Ah, okay. So, Handy, you do have an assault rifle. So let's drop the assault rifle. Clear, prioritize work. Oh, who was it that was telling me that? Um, I can't remember now. I want to say it was David, but I'm not sure. Someone was suggesting that... Um. Klaus ignored his sleep schedule because of work that we had already set up, and there's a way to clear it right here, which could have been it, except that when he got done with that first one, wherever that was, he went ahead and went off and did something else. I think it was making the kibble out of the meat that he just um, butchered. So that one defied the restriction schedule of having him sleep from 2200 until, you know, basically 600. You know, at the end of 500. So he was still in the 3 or 4 when he was doing another command all on his own and ignoring this too, even though his uh, needs were, well, maybe because they hadn't tanked. You know, his needs for sleep was probably right about here. Maybe because it hadn't touched that line yet. So he ignored the, work, the, the schedule here, or the re restriction 
There we go. He ignored this. So I think it was a combination of several things. But Handy is... I just noticed that. That wasn't an Alpha 13. That, that one's new to me. But I want her to drop this. Actually, I want her to swap out with Klaus. But it's... No, I don't want her to swap out. I want her to grab the pistol. And we'll, we'll put the sniper rifle away. Um, let's do gear and drop this. And then... You're going to continue. Good. This one is a non-forbid. Klaus, you are going to equip it. And then I'll have you put the uh, the sniper away. And we'll see how well you can hunt with this instead of the uh, the sniper. Sniper is a one-shot, long pause in between. It's And then put this away. Prioritize hauling. There we go. And there's the, the uh, forced, basically... Um, work job or job to do. Shantico's going to bed. They're all pretty much going to bed. And I need to be shutting down this episode. I've still got a lot to do in my comments. So I'm going to take this uh, Sangria's claim to room over here. <laughs> yeah, we got to deal with this. Anyway, uh, what was that noise? Prison break. Pause. We got us a prison break. Really? We've been kind of nice to Amelia, but she's had that negative six for, you know, for uh, being naked and all kinds of negatives here. Yeah. Now, all of these negatives on any of ours would have driven this further down, but Klaus's talk to her. Where does that come in? Extremely low expectations. Really, it's not here. I guess he hasn't talked to her enough. Klaus, negative 15, hostile. Interesting. It didn't accumulate like it normally does. Ah, the soap opera continues. Okay. Anyway, we're, I'm going to leave her right there because that could be half an episode all in of itself. So she's so injured. I, boy, I hate to hate to have to take her back down again and redo all those uh, all those partially healed injuries. But I got to look at my list here. So. Yeah, is lighting... Okay, there's a question for you. It was asked in the comments if we were to add lighting to our colony mind out over here. Lots and lots of lighting. Does that act like a bug deterrent? Is this... Is it a Minecraft thing? You light it up and the skeletons won't form. Or, as I'm assuming, if just basically if you are under the mountain, you are liable to get a bug infestation. The way I've always looked at it, we're cutting this two-dimensional plane out of a three-dimensional world. Below it and above it is still this mountain with potential bug hives in any of these places that could dig their way down and drop it through the ceiling right into a room that is right in the middle of our base at any moment. So that's the way that I look at the bugs. I don't think there is a way to stop them. There was talk back in our Alpha 13 series of, of basically removing the roof area I think that's what I'm seeing here is my only option so to go in try to remove basically the roofed where's an example the overhead mountain so it would remove a layer and then go back and build it back in again like if they build roofs over these rooms as they build them and that would create a, a layer inside that room inside the mountain but I've also heard other people say that doesn't work in, most, in certain situations. So let me know if you know of any way for us to protect ourselves from bug infestations when we start to dig into here. Otherwise, I'm going to plan different uh, chases that run parallel to our major areas that I can pop a a, uh, a tile out with, a, with a, a turret in there and shoot into that room when we need to. So, or open up a door that's between the two and with a turret right next to it shooting through. So I'm going to put defenses built into our, our colony here preemptively, long before we ever get an infestation, to use only when it's necessary. So that's my plan, but if there's a better plan, let me know. Um, oh, what am I I'm trying to read my own writing here? Oh, okay. I asked last time um, whether you guys like long videos that aren't 
necessarily every day or short videos that are every day. And everyone who gave an opinion all said they prefer the long videos. They, they like to just snuggle in and, and, and watch this these uh, these episodes. And if it ends too soon, it'll kind of feel gypped. So I'll probably go ahead and continue that pattern until I hear otherwise. Otherwise, we got all kinds of comments last time. Last time and maybe even a couple from the time before. Carrie had had mentioned the uh, the uh, the hay and and pemmican and kibble and then let's see here David had brought up that components come from the ship parts so we've got a lot of these crash ship parts around the map and uh, we'll back let's go ahead and assign one to oh no click the wrong thing there right there deconstruct so these will give us components and they'll give us some steel so we got quite a few of those scattered around the map I programmed this scenario to have several of them drop in as if it's part of our uh, our ship that had crashed up there and came down kind of in the same general area that we came down in our in our escape pods so let's we'll get into those as we get a need for more components because right now they're self-storing i don't think they you know there's 300 to 300 weather's not going to harm it i don't know if a forest fire will harm it though and we will get forest fires in here and in case if you haven't heard we'll have tornadoes in here now too that's one of the new things for beta 18 um handy and i think T natalia also mentioned that these simply have not been activated yet they're dormant it doesn't mean that they won't reproduce it means that we haven't gone in and disturbed everything and given them a signal to start producing more soldiers to come after us so these will be a problem if we go you know traipsing through here so that's something to uh to uh, look forward to. I'll have to set up an episode just, you know, a whole episode is the mission of taking out the bugs. These guys are harder to take down than you think. They're not bugs you just step on and squash. Um, Catherine had mentioned that if we put torches outside, it would have lit up this area and much easier to do it, not have to wait for, uh, um, for electricity. I had forgotten that torches existed. Not something I used in Alpha 13. Furniture, right over there. A wooden torch for lighting an area. People need light to move and work at full speed. Oh, so darkness will slow you down. Let's look at that one. Dark, 0%. That doesn't help me. <laughs> yeah, so the light is at 0%, but it doesn't say that our walk speed is slow because of it. Huh. But back to furniture um can be automatically refueled with wood and produces a small amount of heat so we could take this and actually warm up this area with it right there interesting uh not enough wood stored okay but we could also take this and light up our area out here so it's easier to to see at night what we're uh let's put one right there and there and there so just kind of easier to see while I'm talking and it's nighttime. Yeah, something like that. Then we've got, let's see here. Yeah, Michael was suggesting a different gun for Klaus and I wanted to give that a try. So we'll see you next time if that uh, makes a difference. And Klaus couldn't said he couldn't wait to get started on uh, converting the prisoners, which I got to that comment obviously too late because he's already done it and did a good job at it. But I think that is enough for now do check back into these comments um, long after you've left your comment to see what's happened in the comment section you know in the hours to follow it gets quite fun going back to to some of these videos and reading everything but it's been noble rambler gotta call this one done i'm losing my voice i'll catch you next time folks Bye bye <laughs>